Hi guys, so today I'm going to show you how to get this Tigress makeup Halloween look. To start off, we're going to use moisturizing lotion. I'm using Cetaphil. Next, I'm going to use Urban Decay Primer Potion to prep our eyes. Next, for the lid, I'm going to use this coppery color in the Carly Bible BH Cosmetics Collab Palette and put that all over our eyes. I recommend doing your eyeshadow first before you conceal under your eyes because it tends to get a lot of fallout. So that's why I started with that first. Next we are going to use this matte brown shade in the same palette and put that into our crease. Then I'm going to take away that fallout with my fingers and then we will conceal with Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Concealer in the color Ivory. Then I'm going to take my damp beauty sponge and blend that in. Next I'm going to be using Palladio Rice Powder and putting that under my eyes to set it. Then I'm going to conceal all my blemishes on my forehead, on my nose. And I'm going to be blending that in as well. Then I'm going to set it with the same powder, making sure that I have no shine. Then I'm going to be taking my Hoola bronzer and contouring my cheekbones. And also my jaw bones. And also my nose. Next, I'm going to take this Tarte blush in the color Peaceful and add that to my cheeks. Then I'm going to moisturize my lips with some Burt's Bees Vanilla Bean. Then I'm going to take a spoolie and brush up my brows to make sure they look nice. Then I'm taking an angled brush and using this brow powder from Anastasia and it's in the color Ebony. Then I'm just going to fill them in making sure that I'm using the lighter color at the beginning of my brow and then on the tail I'm going to use a darker color. Brows are definitely a must I say. First to set my brows I'm going to use the Maybelline Brow Drama in the color Soft Brown just to set my brows and make sure they stay all day. Next, I'm just going to highlight my brow bone and then going to go into the Naked palette and using the color Creep, which is a dark black shimmery color. And we're just going to start making a cat eye. You can make the wing of this cat eye as big or as small as you would like, just whatever you prefer. And then take it down to your bottom lash line, kind of smudging it out. And then also bring it into the inner corner because we're making this an actual cat eye. My top lashes I'm going to be using L'Oreal Double Extend Mascara. Then for my bottom lashes I'm going to be using CoverGirl Clump Crusher and applying some of that to make them long. get it on your face that's okay you can always just get it off with a q-tip like I'm going to then to make the little lion nose I'm going to be using the color creep again and making a little nose and then filling it in and then drawing a line down to my upper lip and then lining my top lip with the same color and turning out the edges just a bit. Now for the fun part. This is where the makeup actually really takes shape. You can make your tiger stripes as big and as many as you would like. For me, I just chose to put three on either side of my forehead and then three underneath on my cheekbones. Just get creative. 
You don't have to do this exactly like I am. Just have fun with it. And if you don't like how they look, you can always just fill them in a little bit more. Or you can always use a makeup wipe and take some off. Then after that, you're gonna take that coppery shimmery shade like we were using on our eyelids and just go around the stripes. I thought this would be a fun idea so that it looks like you have little patches of fur. And you don't have to do this with eyeshadow either. You can always do this with face paint. But I just made with what I had. And I thought it looked cool with the coppery shimmery color. Next, you're gonna do some dots on your face and then make some whiskers. Like I said before, you can add as many or as little as you would like to this. Just be creative. And then I'm going over my stripes again just to make them stand out a little bit more since they kind of got lost in the coppery color. And next I'm gonna be taking this Estee Lauder lipstick in the color Sugar Honey. It has a bit of gold shimmer to it. That's why I thought it would look perfect for this makeup look. Then you can stop there if you would like. It should be looking like this. But if you want your makeup to last all day, I'm going to be taking my NYX Matte Finish Setting Spray and spraying that all over. And then drying it. And voila, you are a tigress goddess. Let me know if you tried this look for Halloween. Comment down below what else you would like to see from me. And subscribe for more videos. And thanks for watching. Have a happy Halloween. And don't get too scared. Bye guys.